For Charlie Russell, working for a living in the 1880s still meant riding the range, still as a nighthawk. But as things changed in Montana cattle country, so did Charlie Russell. Undoubtedly, the most important event in Russell's life occurred in 1895 when he met a recently homeless 17-year-old young woman. Without her, the world probably would never have heard of C.M. Russell. That sweet-faced young lady had an absolute iron core. Life had made her tougher than she looked. She may have had a little Scarlett O'Hara in her, that determination that I'm not going to look back. Her name was Nancy Cooper, and she didn't look back. And she, too, would never be hungry again, nor left alone in this world. And the way she would do that was by being absolutely determined to make something of the man she would marry. Without her, I would probably have never tempted to soar or reach any height further than make a few pictures for my friends and old acquaintances in the West. She is a business end and I'm the creative. She lives for tomorrow and I live for yesterday. It's a 50-50 game with us. Nancy talks about how she understood Charlie had this genius, but she didn't know what it was. She knew that he needed that space to have his, his memories come up, to have the pictures that he kept in his mind. He once said to her, Nancy, I wish you could see the things that I see. She understood that she'd married a man with a gift that few other Americans have ever had, and that gift was going to be fulfilled, and she was going to be the person to fulfill it. She was really a woman of today in, in the wrong time. first picture I made with paint was up in Montana. I was working with a cattle outfit, and when winter came around, there was a saloon keeper who wanted a picture in color staying up on his wall, so I made it for him. Didn't have anything else to do. Painted it with house paint because I didn't have anything else and didn't know about other paints either. What do you think Russell's payment for this would be? A few drinks? A few drinks. Probably exactly. a bar tab. Uh, I would bet you anything <laughs> it was probably a bar tab or even to pay for a bar tab he'd already in, incurred you right. know, at the saloon. This was a picture of a roundup with the post there. Anybody know it was somebody's first picture. Where there was a white tent, I painted her all white. And where there was a black horse, I painted him all black. <laughs> in the years that followed, Russell's palette would expand. Watercolors and oils would traverse the visual spectrum, especially the colors of Montana's big sky, and his sculpting clay would become bronze. But his subject matter essentially stayed the same. Cowboy camp may have been crude, but it's a variation of a story he would tell and retell, sometimes with a radical view. He would look at things from an American Indian perspective. Well, I see that powerful sense of what will be lost. But Russell had an innate gift that allowed him to turn his own nostalgia into a national and international nostalgia. So much of the world could look at a Russell painting and think, ah, oh, I wish I were alive then. Yes. That I could ride into that world and experience it. C.M. Russell and the American West. 